So <laughs> I have two things I want to, I want to, um, add, not even add, but just kind of talk about that, that you brought up Dr. Julie, that I think the listener, uh, is really going to take a lot from, uh, number one trolls. It, it's important to know that you with over 2 million followers on TikTok. Myself and Zach, we have a combined about a million on TikTok. We all, and Zach, I'm speaking for you here. Tell me if I'm wrong. <clears throat> but when we all first started, we were very worried about trolls. And, uh, and, I, and I think it's important to know that no matter how big the creator is, you always are going to have this doubt that, you know, however big the creator becomes, you're always going to have this doubt that what if people don't like it? What if, uh, you know, like I get, like you said, trolled right out of there. And uh, the reality is, how many trolls have we had between the three of us? Probably tens of thousands. And we're still here and we're still, you know, there are always going to be trolls, but our mission is, is to continue doing what we're doing, uh, no matter how many trolls come at us. And so I think it's really important to know that that's a, that's a common uh, fear amongst human beings is, is the fear that people won't like what we're doing. Uh, and, and that's just part of social media. And the other thing I wanted to, to mention was that your first video didn't go viral. Your second video didn't go viral. My, my first eight videos never got over 50 views. I deleted like six of them and then actually almost deleted the app until I decided I'm going to give this thing one more time. And Zach, I remember when you first started too, it wasn't like this, uh, this massive explosion. And so I think those are two really interesting points here. Absolutely. And, and you know, the first video of mine that blew up, well, I didn't go viral, it kind of blew up. I think that the first one that got more than a few thousand got 60,000. And, um, and it only you see that like that. it's small. <laughs> yeah. well, and the only thing is, I, I, at the time I thought, what? Um, but it only did that because I made a mistake. And I... I wasn't really clued up with using the app at the time and I didn't know that you could play with the volume of the background music. And so mm -hmm. it was really too loud. And, but what I was saying was well, probably in a message people were interested in. So they had to keep watching it back to hear what I was saying. <laughs> and so the comments was just full of people saying, look, your music's too loud. Um, but the views <laughs> were coming in. So, you know. But your watch time one must have been high then because they rewatched <laughs> yeah. it. So, so <laughs> it was a win. Views, but it was not because we found the perfect video and, and you know, made everything amazing. Um, it was a bit, a bit of luck. <laughs> and I kind of want to hit on this angle too, because TikTok isn't just social media. The way TikTok works for the average viewer who doesn't know, a lot of your views come from the thing called the FYP, the For You page. So it's random strangers. And about a large majority of these strangers they don't have usernames or identities like maybe Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn. So the trolls aren't just uh, some random, like what's the name of the troll? Not Heather. What's the, what's the TikTok name for that? Karen. Do you know what I'm, pardon? Is it Karen? <laughs> Karen. Thank you. It's not, it, it's user 2468326. So it's a person behind a mask. Um, so you don't even know who it is and they don't even know. So it's, I think it's a lot more prevalent in terms of that. Um, and yes. that was one of the things that really affected me personally was um, how would I be perceived 